Thursday or Friday or so. So I said, you know, sorry for the short notice, but we'd love for you to come out and join us. So uh, I made a five-hour trip down. I'm happy to join you guys. Uh, as you mentioned, I am running as a uh, independent libertarian. There's no Democrat in this race. Uh, running against an 18-year incumbent Republican. Uh, or at least he likes to call himself a Republican. Uh, I guess with just a couple of minutes, I'll try and get right to the root of the matter. Um, you know, when you look at his campaign contributions, 91% come from the executives, the attorneys, and the lobbyists for the utilities. Uh, he's supposed to be regulating them, but uh, of course that doesn't really look very good. It's a conflict of interest in my mind. Uh, you look at uh, his lobbyist gifts on the Ethics Commission website, $14,000 in lobbyist gifts in just his current term. Uh, you look at specific campaign contributions. Back on June 19th, Trout and Sanders made $10,000 worth of campaign contributions. Two days later, he's voting on those very same attorney's case. Who do you think he voted for? Of course, he voted right in favor of the very attorneys who had made that contribution. Uh, he's been caught sleeping during hearings. i uh, posted the, face, the, the picture on Facebook. I'd be happy to share it with anyone. Uh, I've been endorsed by a number of people on all sides of the political spectrum. Uh, from Debbie Dooley, who's the co-founder and co-organizer of the Atlanta Tea Party, to the Sierra Club of Georgia, uh, to Jane Kidd, the former chair of the Democratic Party of Georgia, to uh, Jason Shepard, who's very active within the Republican Party, uh, to Jade Morey, who is the former chair of the Georgia Association of College Republicans. Uh, so ethics is a nonpartisan issue. It doesn't matter whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, Libertarian, Independent. Ethics matter. Uh, as well, there's a number of other issues that I'd be happy to get into at, at uh, I guess, another time when we've got some more time, uh, such as the nuclear reactors being built uh, around the Savannah and Augusta area. Uh, there's a lot of issues coming up with those. I just got an email the other day that there's another $3.5 billion worth of cost overruns coming, and uh, that's certainly going to hurt every power customer that has power coming from those reactors. Uh, so I'd be happy to answer any questions, address any concerns. Uh, feel free to check out my website, www.votestables.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash votestables. I would appreciate your vote and your support, and uh, thank you for having me tonight.